Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're comparing quickly seven different preamps for your camera system. So over the years, I've compiled quite the collection of camera preamps. These are audio devices that will really help out when it comes to audio issues that you might run into, boosting that signal without introducing a bunch of hiss. So what I wanted to do was, since I've been collecting these over the last six years, compare a bunch of them from 30 bucks all the way up to $650. So first I'll run over the preamps really quickly, and the first one is the Ceramonic Smart Rig. This is a small $30 XLR preamp. I've done a review on this. You can use it with a small adapter or do some light modification like I've done here to get a really slick little XLR preamp. It has 48 volts as all these do and we'll be using them with a 48 volt XLR microphone when we get to the tests. Next up from there we have the Tiny iRig Pre. Um, this is similar to the first one in that it's really more designed for iPad use with uh, instruments and microphones but you can modify it to be used with your camera using a simple little adapter which I have attached to it right here, a small Rode um, TRRS to TRS adapter. Um, this one is smaller than the first by a little bit. The dial is on the side instead of a nice big one on the front and uh, very similar but it costs ten dollars more at 40 bucks and that is our second preamp. Our third preamp is the Ceramonic Smart Rig Plus. So the first one we looked at was the Smart Rig. This is the Smart Rig Plus. This has two XLRs, two 3.5 millimeter inputs and you don't need to modify this at all. There's a switch specifically for use with cameras. This is also the first one with a headphone jack. So great little device and a hundred bucks is not much for a preamp with those specs. The next preamp in the lineup is the Beach Text DXA Micro Pro, as you can see right here. This thing is loaded with features. It has XLR, uh, three different inputs for 3.5 millimeter, a built-in headphone amp with a knob, um, really powerful stuff, and it's a beast of a little device. So it's really, really strong and very well made. This hails in at $142, so we're starting to get up there in price. And uh, I do have a review on this, as I do with many of these. You can find all that stuff in the description. Our next preamp is the Mix Mic, also from Ceramonic. This is a dual XLR uh, preamp. It actually comes with a shotgun microphone, so that's kind of a nice little perk, albeit it's not very good of a shotgun microphone. Um, 48 volts for both channels, uh, nice knobs here, and a lot of flexibility when it comes to your settings and a cold shoe at the top. So that is the Ceramonic Mix Mic coming in at 220 bucks. And our next preamp is the Juice Link. So at this point, I have some really sad news. It appears that Juice Link has gone out of business. Their website is gone from the internet and I don't know what exactly went down, but I will still include the test with this recorder because there's still a lot of them being sold, used and whatnot. And our final preamp is the brand new sound devices, Mix Pre 3. I have it just out of frame over here recording this audio that you're listening to. Um, fantastic preamp. It is a little pricey compared to these other options, coming in at 650 bucks. But you have three XLR inputs, a ton of other inputs, a gazillion features, and it's one of the best preamps under $1,000 right now. So it's pretty doggone impressive. So that's an overview of all the different preamps we're going to be checking out. Now let's get on to the noise test. And the way I set this up was as scientific as I could get it. I set up a 1K tone generator and this microphone one time. So that setup didn't change at all. I'm going to show you a little graph that'll look something like this, but just keep in mind the lower that number is, the better. And each one of these tests will be conducted um, in order of cost. So starting at the cheapest and working our way up.
So what's the final synopsis after working on those tests? And it's been very interesting for me because I've never compared all these together. Um, the first thing I would note is the first two we looked at, the $30 Ceramonic Smart Rig and the $40 iRig Pre, which I have right here and here respectively, were almost identical. So I would probably never pick up this iRig Pre. I'm gonna just gonna drop that right now. Um, the Ceramonic Smart Rig was pretty much identical and I think it's better because of the cost. It's $10 cheaper and it has a nicer knob. It's a little easier to work with. So I definitely recommend this if you're on a hyper budget and you're working with only 30 bucks to put into a preamp. This preamp is going to give us so much more than just using a Canon DSLR. So if you have a Canon camera, definitely consider something like this if you're not using a preamp. And it's even good for newer cameras that have decent preamps. So skip the iRig, go with the Ceramonic Smart Rig if you're on the low end. Our next two preamps um, is an interesting story as well. They're both much better than the first two. The first two are all right, but these two uh, were definitely better. I would say go with the Beach Tech if you can scrape together another $42, since this one is 100, this one's 142. Uh, unless you have to have two balance XLR connectors. Um, this has two XLRs. This one only has one XLR, um, but it has all these other features and it did sound really good as we're going to talk about here in a second. So probably would skip this Ceramonic unless you straight up can only afford something that costs $100 or you're on a low budget and you have to have two XLR. Next up, we have the Ceramonic Mix Mic. This one didn't do so hot. Um, even with everything completely maxed, the gain set to as high as possible with the dial turned all the way up, I still had to bump up the camera levels, uh, which is unfortunate. But you know the thing to keep in mind with all these preamps is I tested them at the max, so turning them really high. Um, in most scenarios, you're not gonna necessarily need to do that, so I can't perform tests. This video would be super long. Um, but this one comes with a microphone, so there's that. And uh, I think it's still a decent, I really love the form factor, but I would still definitely recommend the Beach Tech over this guy, save some money, pick this up, you'll get better quality uh, preamps in it. And finally, we have the Mix Pre 3, definitely the best when you consider everything that it comes in the package. And um, there's also that cost though, 650 bucks is a lot of money and a lot of like these preamps. I did find it interesting that it ranked very close to the Beach Tech. So that says a lot about this little device. So at the end of the day, Ceramonic Smart Rig is a great option, $30. That's awesome for a preamp. This guy right here for 142 is a great step up and um, lots of awesome tools that I talked about in my review of it. And finally, if you've got some coin to throw at a preamp, you really can't do much better than the Mix Pre 3 at its cost. So I thought this was interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I've never compared them all together, so I thought it was pretty eye-opening. And let me know if you'd like to see more comparisons like this in the future. Otherwise, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.